Today we're making Moroccan chicken with lemon and olives. It's the best. Okay, to start, we're going to need some fresh cilantro and one tablespoon of some paprika, two teaspoons cumin, about a half a teaspoon turmeric. I love turmeric, nice yellowy powder stuff. Uh, a clove of garlic that we're going we're gonna to chop and about a half a teaspoon ginger, about a third cup flour. Uh, some water from the tap, about a half cup, and we're going to use a quarter cup of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, and of course some bouillon. And oh, my favorite, Kalamata olive, they're from Greece, you know. We're going to use one sliced lemon, and lastly, we want some couscous. Nothing goes better with this Moroccan dish than some couscous. Let's get started. Hey, what do you know? I, I forgot the main ingredient. We want four chicken thighs with the skin and bones still intact. Okay, for starters, we're going to give our cilantro a good chop. We want it pretty fine because it's going to be part of our rub. Next, our garlic. We want to give it a good smash and then chop it up real fine like I just love garlic. To the cilantro and garlic, what we're going to do is we're going to add our paprika. In goes the cumin, our wonderful turmeric. You gotta love it. And of course, our half teaspoon of dried ginger. Off we go. What we want to do is mix the rub together, all the dried goods, garlic, and the cilantro. Get in there and mix it real good. My favorite part here, what we're going to do, take a little bit of the rub and put it on each of the chicken thighs and give it a good rub. That's why it's called rub, right? We want to hit the underside, get in the skin, and then we're going to set them aside. We're going to coat them in flour next. So go ahead and continue rubbing the chicken thoroughly with the rub. Guys, are you ready? We're going to take our chicken thighs, dip them lightly in the flour, coating evenly, and simply place them in a glass dish. How easy is that? Next, we're going to add lemon juice, combine it with our water, and our bouillon. I heated this up in the microwave, by the way. Give it a good whisk. I love cooking and I'm the best. Spoon a little bit of liquid over the chicken pieces in the dish. Not all of it though. Alright gang, you ready to have some fun? We're gonna take our lemon slices. While you weren't looking, I, I cut them up. I'm kinda tricky like that. We wanna put lemon slices all throughout the dish and then strategically put Kalamata olives all around. You want to preheat your oven to about 350. And what we're going to do is pop this baby in the oven. Our oven's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to pop this in there, uncovered, and we're going to let it cook for about an hour. Now we can start on our couscous. We want to bring about a cup and a half of water to a boil, real easy. Okay, let's go. Our water is boiling. We want to turn it to a simmer and add one cup of the couscous. Give it a, a pinch of salt and a good stir. And we're going to cover it for about eight minutes. Our couscous is done. We want to kill that heat. We're going to drain it and put it in a bowl. Time to check on our chicken. It's been going for about a half hour. You see it's losing liquid. You can add a little bit of our mixture of broth, lemon juice, and water right to it. We don't want it to get completely dried out at all. Okay, our chicken is done. We want to set it on the stove and let it cool a bit. Okay, time to plate it up. We're going to put our couscous bed on a plate here. Oh, easy, just like that. And with our chicken, we want to grab a nice thigh and some lemon, olives, and juice and just pour it right over the couscous. Fantabulous is what this is. And there you have it, my favorite, Moroccan chicken with olives. How can you go wrong?